Hello everyone, in this video we are going to check syn hydroxylation which is putting OH group on the same side of a given alkene. So to start off, let us understand the meaning of hydroxylation. Hydroxylation is putting OH group and syn means from same side. Uh, agents like osmium tetraoxide, this is called osmium tetraoxide. Okay. So osmium tetraoxide or we can say dilute alkaline caminophore which is also known as Bayer's reagent can be used for such purpose. Now first let us see the structure of OSO4. If you draw the structure of OSO4, you can put this kind of coordinate bond, you can keep double bonds or coordinate bonds. And in this case, we can also make all places double bond as well. If you check this compound, try to attack it on any double bond, let's say any alkene. And this is H, this is H and this is CH3 here. So it's a cis alkene which can be attacked with the oxygen's lone pair in this way and due to this it forms an intermediate which looks like OS double bond coordinate O and these will be oxygen attached with carbons and certainly H here CH3 CH3 and H at this place later water given will come and attack one by one on these groups to set oxygen free so we can understand very easily when you break these things when you break these things after attack of water can i say the oxygen if i mark this oxygen as oxygen 18 so oxygen 18 and mark this oxygen as oxygen 16 in water so oxygen 18 will remain with the chain otherwise the remaining portion will come out. So what's the structure here? It will be CH3, CH at this position H, CH3 and we can observe that both the O minus which is present at this position are O18 and later they're going to pick H plus from which position? They're going to pick H plus from this position. See when you join these two things, both the water molecules, what will happen to them? They will form structure which is O H H plus attached on osmium and similarly one more O H H plus attached on osmium. So these H can be taken up so that this can set free. So what's the final answer for this? Since it is a cis compound, we are getting OH on the same side. If you observe the structure, it will have a symmetry. So basically cis compound is given. We are doing doing syn hydroxylation, so we can expect mesoform. Now mesoform is optically inactive form which can be drawn in this way. CH3, CH3, HOH, HOH and this Fisher projection shows plane of symmetry. So this is plane of symmetry. And we can say this is a mesoform which we have drawn here. And due to this, what's your answer in this case? It's a mesoform coming through cis and syn. So if a question comes, let's say you are given some trans compound. The same question, but this time hydrogen is opposite. CH3s are present at this place. And we are doing the same syn hydroxylation. What could be expected answer? It is trans form or trans compound. We are doing syn hydroxylation. So answer for this case will be a racemic mixture, which means this time we can't show plane of symmetry. This time we should show it like CH3, HOH, OHH and its mirror image which will be exactly reverse of it at both the places. And if you observe both the structures, they will be pair of enantiomers. And if they are present in equimolar amount, we can call them racemic mixture. Racemic mixture. So let me revise the code anti trans meso, cis syn meso, cis anti racemic, and RST, or we can say trans syn racemic. Thank you very much for watching this. I hope you are enjoying these videos. Thanks a lot.